Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got something really interesting. Basically, I would say breaking news of the decade in bodybuilding. An end of an era. Chris Bumstead just announced his retirement. Before we get to that part, let's take a look at the finals of the Classic Physique division right here. Uh, so we had these four guys in the, in the top four. Just like I said, I thought Ramon Dino should be included in the top four as well. And he came much drier at the finals. He definitely dried out a lot. I would say Urs Kletinski faded quite a bit. And something was off with his tan. I don't know if he forgot to put a glaze on or what happened. But he was pale and he was not shiny enough. His tan was not good. Not good. And uh, he showed up right here. But, you know, based on what happened at the pre-judging, he still maintained his top three position. But in the top two, actually, we had this year Chris Bumstead and Mike Sommerfeld. Was there an actual chance of Mike Sommerfeld defeating Chris Bumstead? No, no, there wasn't. I mean, you can actually make some arguments and say that maybe like he's a, a bigger guy, that he looks more like a bodybuilder than Chris Bumstead, you know, in terms of size. But Chris is taller and probably like he has a bigger frame, so he's still more impressive size-wise as well. Uh, Conditioning-wise, they were actually quite close. I would say Chris was a bit drier, but Mike actually matched him. I did not expect this to happen at this Mr. Olympia for Mike Sommerfeld to be second and to, let's say, push Chris Bumstead. He was also very good from the back. The back itself was really developed. Uh, glutes were also very thick, like conditioning in them and, and in, in hamstrings and the quads as well. He, he was good. He was definitely spot on. Should I really say he pushed Chris Bumstead? Probably not. It's not like uh, there was a, an actual chance uh, of him defeating Chris. Uh, if anybody was uh, going to defeat Chris, they would have to destroy him on this stage. And he would have to come in off, basically. He would have to beat himself. Especially since this was his last Mr. Olympia. And we all knew it. We all knew this was coming, that he was going to retire on this stage. He spoke many, many times before that he was never going to compete uh, in his 30s. And he's turning 30 early next year, in January, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, he, he announced his retirement on the stage. And he did it in style, right? So, he won his sixth Mr. Olympia. Here is the top two once again. I think it was closer at the pre-judging, but at the finals, the gap was closed. Chris was on, and Mike, I think he was maybe a little bit smoother. I think he was a little bit drier. I think at the pre-judging, it, uh, it was much closer in conditioning, but now uh, I think the difference was obvious, and also the lighting changed. So maybe Mike didn't look as dry on this lighting and under this lighting, and he looked better you know, in the morning, uh, at a pre-judging, I don't know, but, like, it was, it was a good comparison, it wasn't a comparison that we all hoped for, we all wanted to see Wesley Wissers at his best against Chris Bumstead this year, since Wesley is a taller guy, and, like, maybe he would be more impressive in terms of size next to Chris, if he was in condition, but uh, Wesley failed with conditioning, he definitely wasn't as dry and as full, and, you know, as, as well peaked as he was at the Arnold Classic, uh, so, no, that didn't happen. Uh, Mike Sommerfeld ended up in that runner-up position this year. And now that Chris Bumster is retiring, does this mean that Mike is going to be our next uh, Mr. Olympia champion, classic physique, next year? I don't know about that. But, uh, yeah, again, Chris retired. Guys, this, this is actually huge. It probably didn't hit me yet. I don't know what classic physique is going to look like without him. On one hand, it's going to be more interesting because we can actually discuss who is going to win. So far, it was like, yeah, Chris is winning. Everybody else is fighting for second. We all know. But uh, now, it's actually going to be a battle. It's going to be Urs. It's going to be Mike Sommerfeld. It's going to be Ramon, Wesley Wissers. Because, you know, last year, we had a completely different uh, top five. And now, some new guys. Uh, I mean, not new guys, but things changed a lot. Nobody had Mike Sommerfeld in that second, you know, nobody thought that, but I guess the difference, uh, like, with these guys, 
is just so small it's not like open bodybuilding and you can you can expect who's gonna be where based on their development like we all knew i mean not all of us but some of us knew that ander jack the one have the hamstrings or the details in, in the glutes from behind and hamstrings and so on you know even if hardy is like off with conditioning he's still going to be in the top three this and that but in classic physique it's not like that because all of these guys are basically maxed out in terms of size it's all about who brings what kind of conditioning and uh, chris is very consistent he basically brought it every year some years more than the others but basically every year he was on and uh, this year Ramon wasn't on uh Mike Sommerfeld showed up much much better Urs also was better than like Wesley who was off so yeah things can change next year like maybe Urs is going to be off and West is going to be on maybe Mike is going to be off and Ramon is going to be on so we don't know who's gonna be the next Mr. Olympia but uh, Chris Bumstead is definitely out an end of an era guys i don't know how much will this affect the popularity of the sport but it is what it is we all knew it was gonna happen at some point and we all kind of thought it was gonna happen this year after he wins his sixth mr olympia title so he did that he won his sixth one and that's it he's gone from competitive bodybuilding hopefully he will come back or do an open show next year or in a couple of years but as of right now that's it chris bumstead officially retired guys yeah what do you think guys tell me down below in the comment section uh, like this video subscribe for the open finals in only a couple of minutes now thank you guys so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye